Hey guys, as you know, the field is temporarily closed, so I thought it would be a fun little idea to give you guys a tour of the field. We'll show you as much as we can. Um, we can just kind of roam around. Uh, there'll probably be nobody there. Um, of course, the field owner knows we're going. Um, but other than that, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you when we get there. Hey man. Where's your iPro? Shut up! That sounds so scripted. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the field. Oh my gosh. Um, those of you who obviously go to Panther Airsoft, you'll know exactly what I'm gonna show you. So this may not be the most interesting video. Uh, or maybe you just wanna enjoy the stroll as we walk around and see the glory of Panther Airsoft. What is it, 57 acres or something like that? I didn't retain that information, so I didn't say it was going to be a good tour guide. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So we're here. This is what we call city. This is the, uh, as, as you've seen, uh, right near the entrance to the field. Um, there's two entrances to this field. Um, this is the one that we mostly use to get in and out. And let's walk around city and show you around. So this is where the CQB stuff happens, um, when there's generally uh, less people here, or maybe a first game of the day, big warm-up game, uh, or middle of the day after lunch, right before lunch, we'll play City. Um, City is probably where the intense fights happen, that's where a lot of the flanking happens, um, a lot of random buildings with... Uh, no furniture it, you know we're not we're not that fancy here I've worked at Starbucks for what six years um, that's not how you spell frappuccino I say it I say that all the time no one cares so I just stop saying it sometimes random buildings appear in city um, I think about three weeks ago there was some like this building behind us here th this one here okay that one's new right like what where did it come from who built it and when but I guess who cares, right? So here's another new one. They just they just spring up from the ground. Um, city just gets more city-like, I guess. I don't know. It's that city. It's, for it's you. like a real city. Yeah. There's oh my always gosh. construction. Oh my gosh. Let's go inside. Let's show you what the inside of these lovely buildings look like. You ready? Spoilers. Spoilers. Nothing. Windows. There's windows. There's doors. Um, I try not to be stuck inside a building for too long. Uh, I know that in my videos, maybe you see that there's a favorite building of mine. Can you guess what it is? What am I supposed to guess? Yeah. What, <laughs> what Starks? Because you're a no, basic God, bitch. No, God, jeez. <laughs> oh, hi. You didn't see me there, did you? This is Kill House. There's doors everywhere. This is the scary part of Kill House right here, okay? I don't partake in Kill House killings. It's not my thing. I don't like running through here, whether if I'm playing or especially if we're doing a, a bit for the day, like uh, our construction crew, I think, or um, when we played Battleship. A small child can hide right here and shoot me in the face, okay? Not a fun time, but hey, Kill House, it's necessary. It's a necessary building. It's, a, it's the middle of the city map, and uh, beware, beware. Um, we should probably censor that, right? I feel like we're gonna upset the I mean, the, the, you know, the, the, the I'm gonna bleep all of that. I'm just gonna bleep all of that. Don't show this. Don't show this. Not that it matters, but I don't wanna upset anyone, okay? Can you guess what this building is? It's very different from the rest because it holds a place in all of our hearts. Of course, I'm talking about Grandma's house. She's gonna get dirty out here. What were you thinking? Bug life. Wow. Yeah. Dirty shoes don't care. That didn't rhyme. I 
I didn't know you were trying to rhyme. This. You could have just said you weren't trying to rhyme, and I would have not even noticed or said I wasn't anything. even trying to rhyme. I just, I thought it would sound better if I did rhyme, but I thought about that after the fact. You would have sounded like a poser if you were trying to rhyme, because no one was trying to, like, rhyme with you, and no one cared in the first place. I just shut up. <laughs> So we'll take one last look at city. Um, there really wasn't uh, too, too much about city that there is to say, but it's a lot of buildings and it's very dense. All right, very, very dense. Can be scary. Just like you. <laughs> so the back of city is what we call spools, mainly because, okay, this is a bad time to say that because there are no spools directly behind me. There. There's spools there. There's spools that we just walked past. There's a spool even to our left. Oh my gosh. There's two. Does it seem more clear here than usual? Or am I just like going crazy? I'm used to seeing people everywhere. So it's like, you know. Yeah, I guess so. When there's an emptiness here, it, it makes the field seem a lot bigger, but also like everything's more spread out. All the things, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is spools. This is where one side uh, usually spawns when we're doing, um, the bigger version of city we call it city long city short is when the other team spawns over at grandma's house but normally we spawn here um, yeah but the basic bitches always spawn at starbucks mm, yeah girl i'm trying to gang signs just wait a sec <laughs> so gangster yo check it out check it out check it out Value Village! Get your stuff! Halloween costumes! Let me, I'll give you a little uh, uh, rundown about how Panther gets some things. So come with me. Come, come child. Come child. A lot of these vehicles, uh, structures, uh, especially the higher quality ones, um, so not city. Um, Panther gets those things mainly for TV shows. Uh, I don't think they do movies here often. I don't think so. Why am I out of breath? Is it because I'm walking around all the time? God. You have pizza virus. You can't say that. My video will get demonetized. If I could even monetize them in the first place. People worry about that. I can't even monetize yet, guys. It's okay. So, anyway. Um, okay, you gotta stop moving for a second. God. Okay, you're not that I'm like, cool. ugh, ugh, ugh. Panther gets a lot of their things, their cool things, their vehicles, uh, either by donation probably uh, less often, but more often it's for TV shows. Um, so Supernatural films here, uh, sub well they did, I guess they're, mm -hmm. they're done they're now. Done. Um, Sabrina, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Yeah. Uh, we recognize a and lot. The, well, there's more than that. I well, mean, yeah, I know. Well, those are the two I can think also of. Also, like uh, Van Helsing. I was gonna Van Helsing. Yeah. Helsing. Quite a few TV shows, Netflix shows, you name it. They're here, probably because this is the only private field in BC that you can like kind of blow shit up in. I think yeah. that, that was the that was the reason that that Elliot gave us. It's a private so. fr private forest where you can light things on fire. Yes, that that is the main reason why. So um, they build a lot of cool stuff here. They they drop things off here and they leave it here. Um, you can't really build a cabin here and then just like deconstruct it and take it away. So the good news about that is that. As airsofters, when it's all said and done and they're done filming and they're gone, we got a new toy to play with. We got a whole new cabin to play in. All right, wave goodbye to city. Bye city, we're gonna go that way now. Rather big field, city's way over there. And now we're headed towards what used to be police station. Um, I don't know why they called it police station. It was be... just a bunch of boards and sticks. Yeah, <laughs> very. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't really even that much of a building. Kind of like the buildings in city. Yeah, it was a bit of a rundown thing, but I miss it. I liked police station. You know, like it was it. a, it was a little base of operations out in the middle of nowhere kind of situation. We so. used to be like a capture police station type thing, or defend and attack police station, yeah. or like all try and hide in this tiny little yeah. stick building. Yeah. Well, with people running at us. Yeah. You you did um, your video with the uh, slingshot in that. Is 
People still call it police station. I don't know why. Like, let's kill that, all right? Because, like, there's no police station here anymore. We should call it stick tunnel. I think people call it police station because there's two stick tunnels here. No, it's because they're holding on to the past, okay? Police station is the past. I wish it was still here, or maybe like a big upgraded police station, like a new, a new fortress or something, but you know what? It ain't gonna happen. We have stick tunnel now. We have stick tunnel one, and stick tunnel two is way down there. So this lovely stick tunnel, all right, I love saying that stick tunnel, was actually the gateway to purgatory in Sabrina. I'm glad you sounded so enthused there. That was great. <laughs> it's kind of spooky, but it's also kind of cozy, you know? I like it. Yeah. I'd live in here. I probably wouldn't, but you know. So as you probably can't see, city's way over there. We've come all this way to the stick tunnel. And now, way over there is the mines. Mine shaft, mines. Name it what you want. Boathouse. Boathouse, yes, boathouse. Green show you guys cabin, it. silo. Yep, yep. okay. Well, we'll show, we'll show them all that fun stuff, shall we? Uh, oh, God. Uh. For the record, this is what she wanted. Okay, I don't want this. This tree, okay? This tree. We have seen this thing so many times in so many TV shows, especially Supernatural and Sabrina, I swear to God. We're watching a scene from their show and it's just like, I know that tree because there's no other tree that looks like this. It's this weird curvy looking thing and it's such an eyesore that it sticks out of any scene that we see in those TV shows. I love it. Cause I go, that's Airsoft. That is Panther Airsoft right there. Usually the team that takes this, this green cabin, I, I've struggled to like clear this building out. Like I, I never show it because like it just never happens. But like when you have this building and you're like overlooking something, I mean, good freaking luck. So you have this window. You have this window. You have this window. And then you have these windows. With the combination of all these windows working together, good freaking luck taking this building. So around the mine shaft, there's a lot of buildings that you can hide inside of. Right here. So we have the mine shaft. A lot of my videos are kind of structured around the mine shaft, defend the mines, take the mines, uh, whatever. So the mine shaft really isn't all that spectacular, but you know, it looks cool, right? It looks cool. It's big. These rocks aren't real, okay? Spoilers. Um, ooh, it still hurt. Most of the game modes are structured around the mines, one way or another. Um, this is sort of the center area of the field, the center as in like the whole middle. So this place does get a lot of action. Um, I don't spend too much time back here. Um, a lot of players, they like to sneak into the ravine from their spawn, attack the mines from the back. Um, it can be a risky place to run around because you never know where they're gonna come from. Because all of this field here, even kind of just where the river is, I don't know if you can really see it from here. Uh, we will go over there eventually, but from there is all sort of playable area. So it's kind of a, it's a scary place to, to find yourself when you're trying to like get the hell away from the other team. Cause you gotta run through all this shit. So we have the silo. The silo has been around for a long time. Uh, it didn't always used to be here. It used to be located uh, way over by the OG cabins. I don't know how they moved it but they moved it so it's here now um, movie magic that's how they moved it yeah movie magic so uh not very many people use the silo um like i never go in here it's just kind of maybe if there was like a hole in the wall i shoot through it uh. so the mines are there we showed you all those little buildings and going through the mines and just to the side 
we have the boathouses. So the boathouse, let me just say, is my favorite spot. The boathouse has got to be, in maybe an unfair way, just the best spot for me to get kills. This spot right here, for now, is my favorite spot to be. So this boathouse has such a good window to shoot from and I feel bad sometimes like because, I mean, usually when I'm on the spawn where the boathouse is easily accessible for me to shoot from, like run to and then shoot from immediately, we tend to win. Um, maybe it's just because like, I, I do know like all the, the, the angles to look at, but the boathouse, you can't beat it, you know? It's, it's a hard spot to, to bunker out. It, you know, you can't, it's hard to take everyone out of the boathouse unless the other team flanks all the way around the field, right? So you got this window here, which really, you can just creak open a little bit. Now we have rules at this field where if you open a window, you can't just close it again. Depending on the game mode. Depending on the game. Most, most of the time, you know, if I go like this, and I start blasting through this window, I can't just close it when, you know, when the going gets tough. I can't just like close everything up and like pull out my pistol. I gotta keep everything open. And if they bum rush the, the boathouse, hey, they got all this they can shoot from, I can't touch it. So when I go in here, what I do is I just, I just creak it open a little bit. No one says I can't do that. We all do that. This window here, you know, I leave it open pretty much. Well, not quite like this, but you know, I fix it up. I. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened here, but you know, this window's working. So and there's a few panes gone. Yeah, I in mean, the glass, this so. is new. Yeah, I wonder. Sometimes you know, yeah. Sometimes the glass is just missing, so it, it changes things up. So this boathouse here is my favorite spot. It's there's just something about it. You know, you can fit like five dudes on this boat, and just each guy's got a window, and good freaking luck taking us out. Now, I don't use this boathouse as much as the other one. In fact, I'm rarely in here unless I'm like kind of running through it and I just, oh, I gotta pause for a second and take a few shots. Um, that's mainly because there's no proper window in this boathouse. Uh, it's not really, a, I can't even imagine if this boathouse was built like that one and the team spawns over here and takes both of these, that'd probably be unfair. So I'm kind of glad it's like this. Um, this boathouse is usually the one that the other team gets to first to attack that boathouse if they even get that close in the first place. So we just took a look at the mines and the boathouses. Now, just next door, we got OG cabins. These cabins have been around for, since the beginning, I guess. Uh, they were built for Supernatural. The uh, the one in the middle, Yeah. that big one over there, Yeah. that was built originally for Supernatural. I'm sure it's probably been used for other things. Yes, probably. Um, these two buildings were also built for Supernatural <laughs> yeah. for one of the later seasons, much later than the OG cabin. Um, and uh, yeah, so... <laughs> one of the many airsoft dogs. Yeah. What do we call this? Um, I like to call it the stable. But so many called, people call it different things. Sometimes you call it barn, stable. This wasn't always... No, that's been there for a while. Really? I like to enter the building through there a lot. It's like someone like ran into it and knocked it over. <laughs> Those things Probably. happen. Like sometimes buildings change just because there's like some bumbling buffoon who like kicks a door down by accident or by accident. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. What matters is that we have this beautiful boy right here, all right? We put these up around the field and in memory of Elliot's greatness. I made it sound like he was dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> okay, Elliot is alive and well. He is our field owner. And uh, I photoshopped a bunch of his, uh, well, I photoshopped his faces onto a bunch of things. And uh, his faces, his many faces. Yes, well, he has many faces. <laughs> many very sexy faces. <laughs> One thing about this uh, this area right here, there's this big ass puddle that, um, am I allowed to say ass? I'm gonna oh do that again. You can say ass, what the hell? I don't know. Ass, 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 ass. You can say ass. 
I don't, are you genuinely worried about that? <laughs> no. Okay, I don't know. Like, ass? You can say ass all the okay, time. I don't know. You can say nothing but ass today if you'd like. But I already said bitch. Now I gotta redo everything. <laughs> You've ruined it. You've ruined everything. So, so Sasha really wanted to talk about this lake. And uh, I thought... I thought it would be a great idea to film her talking about this lovely lake that she adores so much. So, go ahead, Sasha. I don't it's adore all, it. It's all I you. I just find it weird that it randomly appeared. Yes. And after the construction of these buildings here, and, like, it's, like, supernatural cast, like, all got together and just had, like, a rave or something. That looked lame, didn't it? <laughs> um, just right here to create a, a giant puddle. And I don't know why, but people are obsessed when we, like, spawn at the cabin just like they're obsessed with shooting the puddle as if they can like kill it or something like, as if the lady of the lake is in there and they're, they're trying to get like the sword from her but she's just being a bitch and she's not gonna <laughs> give it to them <laughs> yeah um the amount of the amount of bbs that are probably in that little pond is uncountable like it, it's <laughs> Like, guys, chill, all right? Like, I know you're trying to test out your, your guns and you, oh, I got a Gatling gun, Ugh, I'm gonna shoot the lake. Like, just calm down. <laughs> just calm down, all right? Shoot the enemy. Don't shoot this beautiful pond that shouldn't even be here in the first place. Just don't, just don't do it. So this is the, is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is the cabin, the OG cabin. Let's, go, let's walk inside this OG cabin. Um, this is the this is the building everyone knows, right? Before anything else, before those boat houses got built and those big fancy boats got put in there, it was just this structure. And it's actually kind of bright in here. It's brighter than usual, right? I don't know if you can tell on the GoPro. Uh, no, it's still pretty dark. Uh, well, the sunlight is kind of, it's a good time of day, I think. Like, usually it's a bit darker. In, in the very few videos I've done, can you even see me? Yeah, I can see like a little little white face. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Just listen to my voice and don't get creeped out by the darkness, okay? Um, this building here used to be in better shape. Um, this is, we can't go in here anymore, but this is the cellar. I don't know if it's like locked. Oh snap, crackle pop, look at that. There's probably some bodies in there. So I can't see anything. So this is- I can't see anything in real life or on the <laughs> camera. So this is where Elliot, puts the, um, all the bad kids, all the cheaters, all the, uh, all the people who take their goggles off out on the field when they shouldn't, the people who don't put their barrel socks on their guns when they walk uh, to the safe zone, all those people, they go in there. And they go in there for at least a week. Now, I'm not saying they all come out, but this is where they go. So anyway, I don't hear anything down there, so either they're all dead or they're all free. One or the other, right? Flip a coin. I don't know. There's not much in here. It, it's roomy. There's a lot of windows. This is um, usually when there's like a VIP game defending um, a one person with a few bodyguards against two teams fighting over that one VIP. Usually it's this building that we uh, that we do that in because um, it's defensible. I don't know. A lot of windows and one way in, one way out. Uh, kind of makes it kind of OP technically. Just saying. The defenders always win. Yeah. For the, the, Unless the there's a grenade. Yeah, if there's a grenade, it's game over. So, uh, This is the other entrance into that naughty cellar. Um, you, again, you can't go in there just because it's, it's I, I think it's like too dangerous. Something about danger. Yeah, yeah, probably. I'm glad they shut it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, you know, oh, is that a pink BB? Oh my gosh, look at that. There's another one. Look at that. Look at, look at that. I'm, I'm gonna take that. I was recording that, thank you I'm, very I'm much. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna save that for later. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> um, so this is the barn. Um, you know, hey, it's another fun little defensible spot just on the other side of the lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
there are a lot of people who love the spots. Um, mainly because you've got all these doors. You've got this, which is usually closed. Uh, I don't think we're allowed to open this. Like, there's something about, like, oh, keep this... Keep this closed. Like I don't probably just for defensible purposes. Well, you probably can open it. I don't know, no, because I've wanted to like like crack it open, but like I've always like I've had people tell me like, oh no, we can't open it. But like I don't know. Probably because they don't want to get shot from that side. <laughs> oh, can you believe we have two stick tunnels? Oh my gosh. So, um, that was an, that was an awkward like <laughs> transition between that and this. Hey, so. Uh, Stick tunnel number two. Oh my gosh. This one's a little less uh, interesting, I guess. A lot of people- It doesn't have a back. Yeah, I mean, well, okay. Uh, you can walk through it. How lame is that? So, um, this stick tunnel gets used quite a bit. It's in the middle of the field, basically. Like we're, oh, you're doing- How short are people? Jeez I know, like Louise. it's, I don't know. I don't know what this was used for. Like this was built for a this was, TV show. This was built for Sabrina. Right, because I know the other stick tunnel was, but this one as well. This is also from Sabrina. Okay, so that's cool. This um, is like when they go to have their oh, things yeah, in yes. the forest. Their... Spoilers, hello. You're yeah. going to ruin it Sorry. for all the people who really want to see that show. Oh no, well, I'm spoiling that there's a lot of forest in that show. We're, we're watching it right now, um, and not a fan. Not a fan. I like it. I mean, it's good. It's all right, but like, it's. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I mean, I. I don't want to. I don't want. This wanna, isn't. This isn't this a TV show review. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You know, watch it. It's. It's good. Especially if you want to see parts of Panther. Like quite a bit of Panther is in it. So. Recently, I was. We were watching an episode. I recognized this stump in particular. Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I know where that is. Wow. We sound Anyways. like such such fun people. <laughs> I recognize that stump. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna tell I recognize all my friends. that tree. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the trenches. Oh, the picture of Elliot's gone. I'm not surprised. Where's Disneyland? <laughs> Probably crumpled up somewhere on the ground. There it is. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Better than Disneyland. A lot of people like to hide in the trenches. It is kind of hard to shoot inside of the trenches, but a lot easier to shoot out of it. Very defensible spot. A lot of a lot of the time when I'm here, it's two teams fighting over this spot right here. So yeah, not much to it, but that's the trenches. Sasha was pointing out this spot right here. Uh, when we were tied together with our SSGs, we, we were both sniping. Yeah, I think so. Right? So this spot right here overlooks everything kind of like behind the trenches. And at the time of that video, the enemy team was spawning just on the other side mm -hmm. of the hill, right? Way over that way. And so we had like a good view of like everything. And then we owned the trenches at the time as well. So we were winning. Yeah. This is a good spot. And also it was wide enough for both of us to hide behind. Yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, we had a rope between us. Not so. many of these trees are. Yeah, no. Yeah, we were kind of screwed the whole day, so. Yeah, it was a good spot. Definitely a good spot. I don't know if it ever made into the video, though. I think it did. I, I remember there being a lot more twigs and things, so. I don't think a lot of fighting goes on in this part of the field, though. Like, no, it's a lot mostly of, yeah. a spawn. If this is mostly a spawn area, that's right. Um, a lot of the game modes are more like that way, uh, towards the buildings or the trenches. Uh, the tires here again, it is just a spawning area for the most part or players running past two different areas. Come, 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 come. This used to be Crack Shack. I don't know why they called it Crack Shack. Probably because things happened there. I don't know. Um, they did light it on fire though, did they not? Yes. So yeah. I uh, wasn't as there. You can see by... Oh, is that it? This. <laughs> Is it's probably like... probably a remainder of that incident. Maybe. Um, I believe it was for filming, not just because people here are pyromaniacs. Oh, I, th I thought they were just lighting stuff I, on fire. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I don't. I don't know these things. All I know is there was a structure. Crack Shack was here. Um, I never was really too familiar with it. Um, but one day it just disappeared. Like over the course of like whatever, like a, last summer or something, right? 
I think it was a while back. A, it's been a gone while for a back. long time. It's just gone. It's just, it was what we used to call this area, much like police station. Um, it's but now what it's just we gone. still call it. Yeah, we still call it Crack Shack. Again, people, hello. This this thing doesn't exist anymore. Call it's it something else. Here. Call it call it bonfire. <laughs> call it bonfire because we got this. Look at this. You hear me, Elliot? Okay, you see this? This is now bonfire. It's no longer crack shack. Now, look at that. Look what I've done. You see this? Look at that. You could call it cinder block. Hey guys, let's go spawn over at cinder block. Or how about green tarp? Hey, look at that green tarp, guys. Everyone go over to green tarp. The game's about to start. We could call it sticks and tire. Because there's, there's sticks and... Uh, Tire. I like sticks and tire. Sticks and tire. Let's go over to the sticks and tire. Come on down, sticks and tire. Let's go. Give me this. You explain to me. You explain to me what you thought this was because everyone thought you were such a loser <laughs> for thinking this. All right, go ahead. I didn't say that. No, everyone. Everyone told me you were such a loser for thinking that this was Crack Shack. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure Crack Shack was gone pretty soon after. We had just started playing here, so I didn't really know Crack Shack. But for the longest time, I thought this was Crack Shack because it kind of, it kind of looks like something. It's questionable. You'd, you'd associate with that yeah. good old crack. Just past this section is a lovely place that nobody goes. Nobody except for the, the faint of heart, the real bushwhackers, the the hardcore. I don't do it because. One time, I stepped into some mud, and uh, I almost lost my shoe. So we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna play in swamp all that much. But when you do go into swamp, it's a fun little spot to be. A lot of people like to go through here to get to another location that we will show you later. Yeah. I, honestly, like all these pathways, they all lead to something, right? Like. Can you believe we're still at Airsoft? Like this is, this just feels like we're on a nature walk. Yeah. You know, like this is swamp. This is actually the better part of swamp. This is the non-swampy part of swamp. Um, <laughs> Other than that. I mean, yeah, I mean like when the, the, yeah, this is like the beginning of swamp. And uh, when the weather's, the Canadian weather is really rainy and cold, um, this place kind of looks a little, little nasty. Okay, so we are now back to more recognizable parts of the field for us. Um, we just made our way past all those, all those trees and swampy area to an unnamed section. I don't, I, I, no one really goes around here. Oh yeah, I think you're gonna die. You and your nice shoes that you decided to bring. Well, what did you think was going to happen? See, when I I'm go sure I when I go to the airsoft field, I wear the same shoes that I wear all the time when I go airsofting because this field, as you can tell, is muddy in some areas and not in others. And uh, this one behind me is going to walk through the exact same spot I walk through. You want me to like to carry you? Oh God. Okay. Do I weigh too much? No, I just have to, if I slip. Oh no. Oh God. Okay, it's fine, we're good, we're past the mud. Okay. Pass the mud now. And now it will get you here. Okay, you're good. OG cabin, right? You got the original cabin right there. And then 
the new cabin is this way. So it just shows kind of like the distance between all the spots I've shown you guys. So, uh, you know, they're, they're relatively close to one another, but still you got all this stuff way over here that we just showed you guys. Sasha wants me to go through this hole. So I'm gonna go through this hole. For your entertainment. Get through that hole. How's oh, that? Is that stuck on there? No, they actually, they actually. Uh, oh no. No, okay. it's, I think it's just stuck in between something. Get in there. So usually the people that are going through this hole are small children, but I guess small Jamie's work too. So this, it's actually, this is a good time of day. I've said this before the, about the OG cabin, but this is a good time of day right now because it's very, a little more, a little more lit than, um, than when I'm usually showing footage of the cabin because it's usually like 2 p.m. or something and it's really dark. In the summer, it's nice in here. There's a lot of sunlight coming through, but uh, it's a big cabin. You know, there's a lot of windows. Um, it's the most, it's the prettiest building we have here at the field. Um, Satisfying. Yeah. Remember that time I said some things change here unintentionally? Like sometimes people run into things or knock things down. Or kick open doors. Yeah, so this door... This is what we were referring to. I don't get it. I don't know how some people think that's okay. But, you know, hey, this door used to be a functioning door. Now it is this. It's just on the ground. So um, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. So this is the most lit area upstairs. So we'll stay here for now. Um, this is a good window for snipers and myself. Uh, you can see... Um, enemies coming in from their spawn here. You can see enemies coming in from uh, sort of the edge of the, the field where the river is, just before the other side, which technically is still their property. Um, it's a fun spot to be at, uh, at least until the very end when the attacking team is just outside next to the walls. That's when you do not peek this window. If you peek this window near the end of the game when they're attacking this cabin, Game over, man. You're gonna see grenades and BBs and all sorts of crap flying through this window. This room is probably the most light room right now. Uh, and as you can probably notice, it's a little bloody. <laughs> um, I don't know what it was used for, like this room specifically, because it's painted this way. Like, do you just fart? No, that was my, that was my put on BB. Mm. It's a pretty iconic building here now. Like you, we play in it a lot. Um, you see it a lot in the videos, but it's it's always so dark. That's just the way it is. Um, if they had electricity, that'd be fun. But I almost wouldn't trust us. Yeah, no. I wouldn't trust us with that. So it's probably no. a good thing that it's just the way it is. So over there is what used to be Airsoft side. Now, when Panther Airsoft used to be Panther Paintball. Um, this, all of this, which would have looked much different, um, what we've shown you guys so far, used to be just kind of for the paintballers. Um, Airsoft used to be, I guess, not so popular, or at least a good rival to paintball um, here in BC, at this field in particular. Um, but now, Airsoft's just kind of taken over, so Airsoft side, which was just for Airsofters in the past, is sort of a, I think it's kind of like a relic of the past, because it's, it's a little more, overgrown there um, the, the buildings there are I mean it's everything is much older um, yeah you know forgotten it's not as, it's not as good because it's hard it's hard to see anything. it's very hilly um, it's still cool though because like we, we've played there we've played there sometimes um, I think the general consensus is that we want to reopen it and give it like a proper uh, proper playtime if possible especially in the summer when it's really really busy here and we have the manpower to kind of go over there and do some games so we'll go over there right now we'll show you guys around and uh, hopefully hopefully it's not like too covered in grass and crab and bushes and we'll see 
thing about BC is this such big property that yeah there's gonna be probably rivers and cool hills and things it's very very beautiful so this is one of the towers that you'll find on airsoft side um, there's actually a video of us uh, our construction video of us putting something up in this tower three points contact get your freaking hand on there this is what it used to be right we put this up <laughs> Hey, Foreman's okay. coming. Foreman, Foreman. This doesn't seem up to code. No, that doesn't. You it looks. Fix it. It's too level. You want us to fix yeah, it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go across this little bridge. Yeah, but there's like nothing over there. We don't need to show every single little doesn't thing. Doesn't that take us? I have no idea where that takes us. Where does that take us? I don't know. <laughs> so you want to go but that I way? I feel like that takes us to more areas that are actually because that's the bridge. No, this takes us. This takes us to the. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because the bunker's there. You go through here and oh, then you is go that right. The bunker? Yeah, they. No one. Uh, like, I don't even here, watch. Know. Like you can't even see it though. I can no. see it with yeah. my eyes, but you cannot see it with the camera. It so, just blends in. Yeah. God, I'm gonna die. Hey. Uh, I didn't say I liked airsoft sight, but I figure we should show it. It's hard to move fast over here, which I like to move quickly. I like to go from one building to another or, you know, one big tree to another. This is like, oh, ugh, ah, and everything's all thorny. This is, you can't even, you can't really see if it's thorns, man. Like it's the... Uh... And barbed wire? <laughs> yeah, and barbed wire. <laughs> what, what the hell? <laughs> So this part of uh, Airsoft side is the most recognizable part of it that really, it's really the only part of Airsoft side that like I think I can really, I can show that really means something. So this and is- And also this is the only part that's flat ground. Yeah, that too, yeah. yeah. without bushes everywhere. I mean, it's nice here. I like this spot. It's just kind of, I think it's a little bit unbalanced. Uh, unless they've cleared things up. Like again, we haven't been here for a while, so. Um, but this is the bunker. You've, you've definitely seen this bunker a few times. Um, it's, it's the only thing I can really remember here. Um, yeah, usually what we'll do on airsoft side is two teams will fight over the bunker. One team will kind of spawn where we came from. Um, another team will spawn somewhere in the abyss that is all that bush. Hey, so now we're at a another memorable spot, I guess you could call another landmark area of airsoft side. We've got tower number two, which looks kind of smaller than I remember. This is kind of sketchy. Yeah, I don't know if you, you should know what? that. You know what? I think sniper tower, oh God. I think sniper tower is, uh, it's okay. We'll leave sniper tower alone. It's, uh, it's like one of those things at Playland where you Oh, like the, the, the rope. Yeah, yeah, the winner the prize. Thing. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Thank you. Up over there, there is some sort of a path towards something. There's actually flags up there for a capture the flag. But I'll tell you guys right now, it's not worth it. So um, we'll get past a bunch of thorns and then you'll just see uh, a big hill and a bunch of bushes. So. That's kind of what airsoft side really is right now. Um, there's some more pathways leading elsewhere, so we'll check out one more spot and then we'll work our way back towards the main part of the field. Didn't there used to be a bridge over here? Oh. There used to be a bridge here. Yeah. Are we stuck? No, because there's that. I know, that's weird. <laughs> what are you gonna like walk across? I wouldn't do that. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, we we'll figure out some other way to grow. We'll find a shallow uh we'll, we'll just swim. Let's just swim. <laughs> you wanna swim across? Let's just do that. Wow, well, good job. You stick. really showed that stick. I got wax on my thing. Dude, it's not wax. Or it's uh, sap. Same thing, wax, sap. One Freaking. comes from a bee's butt, and one comes from a tree's butt. It comes from your butt. 
Uh, you guys, we're just wrapping up our day. Um, we just filmed a whole lot of random stuff here at the field. Everything's on lockdown, um, as you saw. Um, we just want to announce real quick that we are going to do a Q&A for one of our uh, upcoming videos beyond this point. So if you guys have any questions about anything, it could be video game related stuff, airsoft related stuff, um, YouTube stuff, Twitch stuff. I used to stream. Some of you guys know that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, anything about Sasha here, anything about me, about us, um, life stuff more in general, him. more about me. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm not expecting like a bajillion questions, but obviously I will try to answer absolutely everything and, uh, you know, just something to make a good video out of, um, you know, answer whatever questions come our way. So if you got anything, put it down there in the comments and yeah, hopefully I will see you guys soon. Um, I hope to see everyone at the field again sometime soon. Hopefully this, um, this whole quarantine lockdown, uh, you know, social distancing stuff, hopefully it, um, you know, doesn't last forever and hopefully things go back to normal but in the meantime we got to make do and uh we wouldn't have been able to do a tour had this not happened so you know yeah. what hopefully it turned out good and uh we will see you guys next time take care Bye.